Hello and welcome to a new game. We're going to be playing a game called Love and Destroy for the PlayStation 1. Well, let's, let's not get distracted here by the intro, because we're going to see the intro in a second. Let's go ahead to a new game. It's an eyeball monster. Gotta save our Shiba. And be presented with some butts. この人が大丈夫ですか? あ、ね、ちゃぶが。説明はと、すぐに彼をバトルポットへ。行くのだく。All right, let's stand by. Ah, oi nano kai kikoeru ka? I think I can explain it as well. So we have a navigator. Navigators are represented by one of the three females called Qtrons. Now, the best Qtron for each mission is going to be one of the three girls. They have different powers. And then there's going to be the monster that we're fighting, aka the germ. Germs are these weird monsters, they come in different varieties. And then we have some terrain. Usually it's a city of some kind. And finally, we have uh, exit, right? So we can exit. And we can review this data at any time. Well, let's just go ahead to exit. So our Qtron is Kiki. She has come to us from the future along with the other girls to uh, help prevent the invasion of the germs. We're gonna ignore this guy. So yeah, we can go to uh, Egg, which I guess will give us uh, our data. We can also go to Battle Pot, which I assume is supposed to be a battle bot. And this gives us some information about what our current weapons are. We currently just have a Vulcan and no uh, other weapons. Now, one kind of uh, curiosity I have is if I hack the game a little bit. Yeah, I can give myself some more experience, but that does not... Wait, no, hold on. What if I do that? Yeah, so I can give myself some more experience, but it doesn't seem to do anything. So let's go ahead and just reset that back to zero. Uh, we are doing a little bit of hacking today. Not that the game is that difficult. It is a pretty short game. But we're bad at video games, so let's go ahead and save. Wait, I just exited. Don't worry, we're going to be getting into the game in just a moment. Let's just save as uh, data one. Now we have a couple different features here. We can switch over to Lulu, for example. 
Lulu has, I believe, a uh, slow but powerful attack. We can check our battle bot. Instead of having a Vulcan cannon, I guess she still has a Vulcan cannon. Maybe her other weapons change? I don't know. Let's maybe start with Lulu. Do we want to start with Lulu? Maybe we'll start with Vivi. Vivi has a very fast attack, but is uh, mostly weak and short-ranged. Okay. Let's go ahead and try it. So we confirm we're going to use Vivi. Hmm. She's not very happy. Uh, they're gonna ask my name. My name is gonna be Masta. So we have the master name decision. I am the master, of course, master of these three robots from the future that happen to look like girls. Let's go ahead and get into our mech. Just like Gundam's, uh, or not Gundam, um, just like uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion, we're going to have to stop monsters from the future. Or aliens, or whatever they are. There it is. Now we can receive messages from our co-pilot. We can also take damage whenever things run into us. So there are these little spheres. And there are those little snakies. We want to avoid both of those things, but the spheres are mostly harmless. They have a health bar. You can see it going down. It teleports every now and then. Ooh, scary. It's chasing us. And we deleted the target. Oh no, what's happening? We deleted it, but now we have to destroy it for good. So in order to bring out the potential of this robot, we need an emotional link with our navigator. Not good enough to uh, just be, you know, strong or whatever. Let's in fact go ahead and grab ourselves some extra experience because as you can see, we're going to get about 50,000 experience uh, to get up to the next class. 60,000 is what we earned this time. I think we got about 60,000. It's a little bit better than my first attempt. Uh, and the reason for that is maybe we took less damage. But, you know, I think we we did a lot better than I expected. Look at all this experience we got. We just leveled up. We just leveled up to level 6. Damn. That's amazing. Wait. 
Did we level up to level six? What just happened? <laughs> I think I think uh, it disappeared. It counted down, but we didn't earn it. No, no. Monsters from the future. Yeah. Now we have to go to the future. So one of the things we're going to do here is we're going to get a little romantic sequence. Why did we get a romantic sequence? Well, because we chose the red girl. Oh, I'm sorry. There's a, uh, there's a siren going by. Huh. Well, we can get a heart select. Now, when we get heart select, we get one of two options. Unfortunately, the way that this game is set up, my translator makes it kind of hard for me to translate because the translation button is set up to also be the select button, and I can't fix it. Well, I guess I could, but I'm lazy. Yeah, I have uh, Translate set up onto uh, R3, and R3 is Accept in this game. I don't know why. This game actually does not use uh, the face buttons. It doesn't use the D-pad, the X, square, circle, or triangle button. It pretty much only uses shoulders and uh, joysticks. So, maybe we'll uh, read a little bit of the Wikipedia article for this game. Generally, you, uh, you know, you're running around, you're destroying stuff. You can destroy all the buildings you want. Yep, uh, she is the long-range type. She's the fighting type, close range. She's the latest model. This is uh, Kiki, she's the all range type. I guess middle range type. Okay, we got uh, worker type, germ, ice insect. Best is Qtron. We're fighting against uh, that thing. Then we're going to want Lulu's. And if we're fighting against that guy, might want VV. There's basically three uh, types of enemies. And I can have the uh, exercise menu select. Yeah, I, I don't know. So I think what we want to do, personally, is I would say we could fight Lumendas, followed by uh, Ice Insect, followed by Mega Motoro. I don't know. I'm assuming that that's the order we fight the enemies in. So, yeah. First, we'll fight... Ah, uh, this guy. Best one to use will be the melee person. 
ロンのセットアップが終わったのだく Yeah, what is this 233 out of 274? What do you suppose that is? I don't know. But one thing I can tell you is that、uh, let's go ahead and make this. I don't know. Yeah, we'll make this save too. Because one thing I wanted to do is just see if I can、uh, level up my like. Of this person? Oh. I leveled it up, but I think I might have saved a little bit too late. So we won't worry about that. We'll do that next. We'll see some, uh, we'll level up some like. See, she doesn't like us very much. It's kind of indifferent. Well, Vivi, we'll see how you like us after this. Alright, so there's a single enemy here. And now that we're、uh, fighting normal enemies instead of that special scene, we have access to a couple different things. Oop, did we、uh, use a sword on it? So, I have to get a lock on, I guess, in order to、uh, get an attack off. Seems like we're doing okay, but I don't know. Also, it's just like running around, ignoring us. Let's try switching weapon. Okay, we just did a, some kind of thing. Heart connect. Very tall.、Uh, we do have the ability to do like a little jump. But、uh, maneuvering while you're jumping, not that easy. Say, I don't know why this character is a recommended one to fight this guy. Because he's kind of annoying to fight, honestly. Does not have that much life. Fell down, but I couldn't really target it. Maybe I can just use my machine gun? There we go. Alright, so we got a target deleted here. A couple values just changed in memory. Yeah, score doesn't seem that good.
But we're gonna get to the next class. Gonna get up to level B. It's probably good. Every day, my Nichi. Oh no, we're falling in love. And we can do a heart select here. Oi, oi! I don't know what oi, oi does. But based on the menu choices, you can get uh, slightly different things. Yeah, here we go. 51 out of 274. Personally, I think these buggy guys are very hard to beat. They recommend using her. But before we do that, one of the things I wanted to do was to just come in here and change this value and see what happens. So I've changed what I believe is my affection level with this character. But I don't know. I don't know for certain. Here we go. I know she's playing video games. She's good at games. Look at that, she likes us. I could say, Nani ga... Deyo. Okay, I mean, I could say that. Or... We could, uh, level up our like even further. I know there's, like, truck sounds. Let's see another movie. You know, in some ways, uh, she's a bit like a cat. She has double cat tails, in fact. Let's just go ahead and level up our like again. Hey, wait a moment. Do you like me? Or like something? And of course, the game is expecting that you're on mission 5 if you've uh watch if you're watching this video. So in this mission, uh, your other two people, they're like in the ship, I guess. You gotta save them. Oh, 
ず倒してやるこれが最後だ頑張ろうぜお疲れ様でした。よくし、よくしよべるな。Yeah. Which translates to. Don't talk too much. Oh no. <laughs> Why did I tell her don't talk so much? Um. So we can go ahead and watch a、uh, sixth. Video, let's upgrade our like again. So, this looks like the intro movie, actually. I, we didn't watch the intro movie. Uh, we skipped kind of right into the game. But here we get to see those eyeball monsters up close. Interesting. So I wonder if that's because it's like missing a video. Uh, yeah, we'll say the thing that's not don't talk so much. There's a chance if there's a chance. I mean, I, I suppose. Let's see if she lo、uh, looks at me、uh, at all different. She seems nonplussed regardless. Which does make me like a little bit curious if there's another thing that I can change. I think there is. Let's find out. I would get another video. Is this the intro we saw already? Interesting. So, yeah, it will actually show us the intro movie again. Well, now I'm really curious. What is, uh, let's see. X2B plus X27? X52, okay. So I think I found her like level with you. I found what appears to be something that looks like maybe a like level. Okay, yeah, and the higher you have that movie level, it does not seem to affect anything. Let's go ahead and bump up her like. Um. Ooh. Okay. So we've now raised our like over 255. Let's see if that affects anything. Yeah, we can watch that video again, but we don't need to see that. So, so not. Oi, oi. 
Somna means like that's not right. So I'm gonna say oi oi. I have no idea. Let's ignore this guy. Let's go ahead and take a look at her. Still don't like me? What if I, like, bumped this up? Would that help? If I go to Qtron and I switch between these two characters? Your like for me is now over 4,000. Still nothing? Okay. Well... Let's check out our battle pot. Yeah, we're now a level beta. It says we have a screw attack, a seed Vulcan, and a naive sword. Alright. You say so. She's still not very impressed by us. Alright, let's go ahead and fight some bugs. Ready to program start. No, I'm not ready to program start. So... These bugs really suck. I find them very hard to fight. But strafing is generally a good idea. Okay. Where are the other ones? Okay. Oh, we found the edge of the map. For some reason, uh, we're only getting s the spidery ones instead of the flying ones, so that's pretty nice. I don't know how this game determines what enemies will spawn. Um, there it is. Okay. There we go. I guess we killed enough of them. That was pretty easy. I think it must be one of those things like they multiply. 
And so if you don't, like, kill them fast enough, then it just becomes unwieldy. Because the last time I tried this, it was completely absurd. Well, we're at level B plus now. She still doesn't like us, though. Um, how about this one? I'm worried about you. Yeah, who wouldn't be worried about you? So I think that was a good choice because I think that Rose increased our uh, like. Yeah, he's just saying, hey, it's going to be that gibbering monster. The best person to fight the gibbering monster is the uh, blue-haired girl, but, you know, we want to increase the like of this girl. Us. Look, she likes us. What is this? How did... What did I do to make you like me? I don't know. So I tried uh, doing some other things. Like if I switch uh, to, let's go to Battle Pot. Yeah, we're level B plus. Maybe it's just matters like how much experience you have. Yeah, she's now just going us to us. Okay. There's a few other values I can change. Like, I can change this value. Let's switch over our battle pot. Yeah, that doesn't seem to be it. We're playing with some, uh, some different values. Kind of looking around in this area, trying to figure out what might have changed. Because right here we have... This seems to be something related to how much they like you. This is what movie you've unlocked, or what movie you're currently on. I don't know, maybe this... I mean, this might be it. If we lower that to one. Nah, I don't know. Well, regardless, we don't know what, what we're doing right, but might as well just continue on with the game. Let's play with VV again. Doshite <laughs> deno. I, you know, I couldn't tell you, VV. I don't know. Alright, so we have a fight against this monster here. And the, uh... Yeah, the range on those attacks is extremely high. They also really get confusing. So let's maybe try to jump out of the way here. Now where is this thing? There he is. See, it did like a bank shot somehow. Like, I, I don't even know how that thing hit me. It's coming from unexpected angles. We need to destroy all the mouths.
There we go. Yeah, somehow that thing that flew way past me ended up hitting me. Because it will juggle you. Did we get it? Is that... Is that run away? Or what is that? I got fatal damage. So it says I got fatal damage, so I don't know if she fell in love with me anymore. There is this value over here I just saw change. Maybe I can make this, like, I don't know, higher? Oh! That was interesting. Hey, Os. Changing that value ended the movie. That was weird. Yeah, let's uh let's play the mission. Oh, she's super happy with me. Where is this guy? He's just, he's just a runner. He's just running around. When he stops running around, then you can maybe do some sword attacks. But as long as he's running, it's pretty hard. Some hits. I think we're breaking the armor. working.
feel like we were able to knock him down uh, easier the last time we fought this guy. He's outside of the uh, playable area. So we, we cannot even approach him. He's flying outside of the world. But we got target delete. We are now maximum level. So that's cool. Hey there. Oh, we're going on a date. This is a new movie. I don't think we saw this one. <laughs> Bathing suit? Is this the maximum like? Ai. She loves me. Interesting. So that actually was inserted in the middle of this movie based on, I guess, how our date, uh, like what our love level was. If we get to the fifth mission with a low enough uh, love level, we get a different date, I guess. Interesting. Okay, let's play the last mission. Oh my gosh. Playing the mission with this uh, thing open? Well, I mean, maybe you found it interesting to see some of the numbers changing the way I'm watching it. So, this enemy is a little tricky. Oh, is that all you have to say? Um, so this thing, if you do not strafe, you will just get demolished. That's the pure and simple fact. Okay, they will teleport every now and then. Let's just destroy all the buildings in the world. Uh, we don't really need those. Indeed. Yeah. 
So they just like run away. Maybe we can use swords on them. Find out. Are we hidden invisible barrier. Uh, it's not looking good for humanity. I'll say that. But yeah, if we ever stop strafing, these missiles will probably destroy us. So we do want to be careful about that. Um, yeah, we're, we're like close to the edge of the map or something because we keep getting caught on what I think is the edge. Yeah, then we just get hit by a hundred missiles. This is where things get a little dangerous. I feel like they're getting lower, but maybe they have shared health, because they none of them seem to be particularly dying more than others. There we go. We got them. But at what cost? And there's the germ. Uh oh. Turning into some kind of alien creature. I have like a H attack. I don't know what H means, but it doesn't seem to work. H blaster. Here we go. Did we win? 
チームは半導体に代わり生物を利用した集積回路の開発に成功しましたこの回路バイオチップは単細胞生物の構造で既存の製品と言われていますが拡大に向上しており実用化に向け期待が高まっていますそこへ行きました Can a person truly be happy without a girlfriend? I think that means I did not get the perfect ending. What does that say? Kyora. Yeah, character design, okay. Yeah, so it's character design by、uh, Katsura. If I were to read the Wikipedia article a bit more, it says that.、Uh, Yeah, character design was by Masakazu Katsura,、uh, who's well known for. I don't know, DNA Squared? You ever heard of that one? Tiger and Bunny? Tiger and Bunny, I've heard of. DNA Squared, I think I've heard of, but it's really old. Yeah, Love and Destroy was directed by Makoto Yamaguchi, who started the most difficult aspect of its development.、Uh, who, who, sorry, who stated the most difficult aspect of its development was his seclusion from his workers due to himself rarely bathing during long hours. <laughs> the hardest part of developing this game was that the director didn't bathe. <laughs> that somehow sums up this game perfectly. Um, yeah. Honestly, do I need to say any more? No, I, I don't think so. Game is pretty short. As you can see, you can beat it easily within an hour.、Um, probably faster if you weren't screwing around like I was. Of course, if you want the best ending for all the different girls, you probably have to play the game a few times. We did get one failed mission, which probably prevented us from getting the, the perfect ending. But otherwise,、uh, we did just fine, I think. We did get a、uh, song here at the end. I guess the song's okay. Uh, critical reception was mixed.、We、got about a 19 out of 40 from the Japanese publication weekly Famitsu. GameSpot compared it to Evangelion. Yeah, so did I. It was released in December 16th, 1999. Yeah, this was a Christmas release game. You know, back in 1999, you could release something in December 16th, and, you know, you were, you were assumed to have time to buy it before Christmas. Whereas today, I feel like everything's released, you know, three months before Christmas. Let's go ahead and get that experience points. And I, I guess that's it. That's Love and Destroy. I mean, there are other,、um, other pathways.、Uh, all the video content, however, has been uploaded. And, you know, there's, I guess, a minor amount of image content. We did see if the girl likes you, you get a slightly different animation before starting the mission.、Uh, she blushes or whatever. But other than that, I mean, it didn't seem like there's that much image content. When it comes to extracting images,、uh, I was not able to、uh, extract the images successfully. So, we're not going to be able to look, really look through that. Anyway,、uh, that's all I've got. So, yeah, thanks for watching.